Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a third way to increase your profitability, and this is through getting a reseller's tax exemption. So, in some situations, you will be eligible to get a sales tax exemption. What does that mean? Well, first, let's add an item to our cart on walmart.com. We can see that the item costs $48.54. Then when we add it to our cart, we'll see what the total order is. And you guys are probably used to the fact that after you order an item, you'll often find that the total ends up being more than the purchase price. Like, look at this. Our subtotal is $48.54, but our total is $52.79. And that's because Walmart is adding or is charging us sales and use tax because they need to pay it, okay? In some situa in many situations, as long as you have a registration with uh, your state to pay sales and use tax yourself, because you're paying the tax already, that means that you can become immune to the sales and use tax on, on a website because you're reselling things, right? So you can change this number to be zero on almost all of your orders. Not to every single state, but to most states, you will no longer have to pay sales and use tax. So if you want to learn more about this, I'm going to show you how to go about doing it on walmart.com. Keep in mind that most sources have some form of seller's tax exemption, okay? It's much harder to get if you're not based in the US, but if you're based in the US, it's usually fairly simple. And I encourage you to contact your source directly, okay? So look at this. Here's what you need. In uh, my business is based in Virginia. So here we went into the sales tax kind of help section on walmart.com and they have a bunch of the examples of the certificates that you need to be eligible for sales and use tax. So you can scroll down this list and then see the names of it and that might help you if you're not sure what kind of registration you need to get in order to get sales and use tax, just look at this list and you can find it, okay? So I'm going to search for Virginia because Virginia is where I'm based. So this is the article of registration that I have, right? And that's exactly what it looks like. So if you're not sure what you need, find this list and then look for your state. And then once you are registered with your state, that's all that you need to do in order to then become tax exempt, at least on walmart.com. So what you can do is go to, let's, let's go to the walmart.com homepage because that's where you guys will start. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then here you can find all the information that you need about the tax exempt program. If you click on the link here, you'll find a multitude of information about tax exemption. You'll see a brief summary of tax exemption. And then this link right here, this is the really valuable link. Let's open this link, the tax exempt help page. So any questions that you have about becoming tax exempt on walmart.com can usually be answered here. Look at that. And then if, you, if you're not one who wants to read too much and you just want to email somebody, then all you need to do is go and email tax exempt at walmart.com. Email them, tell them what you do, and tell them what you ask them what you need to do in order to become tax exempt on walmart.com, and they'll give you a step by step instruction on how to do it. It's really easy. Don't worry about it too much. The main thing is having your business registered with your state so that you're already paying sales and use tax, because in most situations, you only need to pay sales and use tax when you ship out of your state into your state. So, sorry, you, you only need to pay it when you ship into the state that your business is registered in or when you ship into one of the states on this list because you'll still pay sales tax there. But in the 40 other states, you don't have to pay sales and use tax. That's pretty awesome, isn't it, guys? Sometimes that can save you up to 7% of an order. So again, this process will change depending on what reseller, or sorry, what source you use, but all I want you guys to know for the purpose of this video is that you can get sales tax exemption. It is something that you can do, and if you wanna figure out how to, the best way to go about that is to send an email to the customer service team of the source that you use. They're gonna tell you if they do offer some kind of tax exemption, or if they don't. Most places do, 
Walmart's one of the easiest places to get tax exemption because you only need, once you have, you're registered in one state, then you can get it in almost all the other states. It's pretty simple and just contact a sales rep to have them explain how to do it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.